mind going into game one? Excited. It's just football's back, and we do so much spring practice and so much fall camp practice. It's just so much fun to be like excited to prepare for an actual opponent. And I love going against our defense, but it's time to go against a different a different opponent, hit someone else. So I know our guys are just super excited to have the opportunity to kind of display all the work that they've been able to put in this summer. I know the depth chart's not officially out yet, but I mean, is it safe to say Hall Schmidt did enough to, to get the right tackle spot? He's done a great job, and he's been just super impressive with not the on the field like everyone can spot that but it's the stuff that people don't see just his prep taking care of his body doing all the little extra things that no one notices he's just continuing to get a little bit better every single day and he's a perfect example of guys that just stack days on top of each other and um, it works out to where he's gotten a lot better since since spring ball. What was that battle like with, with him and, and some of the other guys I know? There was a lot of people yeah. in the mix, and, and we wanted to give everyone a fair shot. And it's one of those things where if you're just here in the building, he did a good job of all the things not on the field to kind of solidify it, to kind of eliminate any doubt that he was the guy. For, for you know him being the one guy, it looks like obviously he's a newcomer coming into the starting lineup to be playing tackle. Like What did, what did he do to, to, to win that spot? Again, it's, it's all the things that no one can see. So there's so much prep that goes into it. Like if you see the guys playing extremely physical on Saturdays, on game day, that means that they put a lot of work in and they've earned that right and they're extremely confident. And that just comes with putting in film study and preparing your body and working extremely hard in the, in the summer program. Our strength coaches that do a really, really good job of getting guys feeling confident that they're super explosive and super fast. So he's just done all these little things where um, he's put himself in the best position to play at his best. Yeah, I know there's been with you know injuries and guys getting maintenance days and all that. I know guys have been in and out, but to have those four guys that we've talked about, you know, returning, uh, just what, what has it been like the luxury to have four guys with starting experience and especially going into you know maybe a, a hostile environment week one on the road? It's going to be extremely hostile. These guys are very very good at home, so the, um, they, they're going to make it extremely difficult for us to be efficient offense. And that's all we want to do is want to stay ahead of the chains, be efficient offense, and. And the way, like the, always, I think the key with building offensive line room is you have your starters, but you're always trying to find ways to get those backup guys valuable reps. Cause you never know, like last year when Roger's gonna get his number called, he had done a good job and get enough reps where he was able to play at a high level for his first start because he was kind of always, always taking his development very seriously. So our guys can't wait to be starters. Like Hall, he can't wait to be a starter. Like he's got to put himself in that position to be ready to go right now. So. That's, that's always the fine balance of coaching the starters, getting those guys reps, making sure they have good chemistry. But as we've all seen, like it's such a physical position, someone's gonna go down. You see it at every level, NFL, college. Um, so it's figuring out those guys when that, when that next guy and that backup has his turn to start, like he's able to, to rise to the occasion. Who are a couple of guys that maybe, you know, six, seven, eight in terms of impressed you, but, but maybe didn't crack the starting five, but you could see time this year. Yeah, so that's where um, Tyler, TK, he's done a really good job. He's impressed everyone. He's definitely kind of matured and he's taken that next step and, and he's gotten a lot, lot better and, and he kind of sees himself as a starter. And that's always the first thing we always say, like the action proceeds to be, or excuse me, the behavior proceeds the action. So he is like taking all the steps to be a starter. So whenever he gets his number called, he's going to play really well. And we're going to have a ton of confidence in his ability to go to go dominate his his one on one. So and then Jason Steele's another young guy who's done a good job. Zach Holmes is another young guy that have, that have done a good job kind of battling for for that kind of guard center position that that's got to be versatile like we saw jake stetz a couple years ago you got to be able to start one game at guard and the next game at center and just have some position versatility you ever been to jaw new mexico i have <laughs> i have tell, tell me about jaw new mexico jaw new mexico jaw new mexico i always tell like people in new mexico don't even know where jaw new mexico is so it is uh if if you spend some time with roger and you get to know him really well he's definitely a byproduct of his environment so he's been brought up in this like really rich family that loves him that pours into him that's supportive the his aunt is driving the school bus to the football games you know what i mean so it's one of those where it's like a true community and everyone kind of supports him so he's not able to do what he's able to do without support like it always takes a village so he's come from this really really rich um, roots that have kind of developed him into being like this great person, not not only on the field but off the field. He was telling me he's the only player from his you know town school to go Division One, and they have the little sp local pub that everybody goes to to watch all the games and stuff and root him on. I mean, do you get like a sense that he realizes he's playing for for more than just him himself? Yeah, he always has that kind of like maturity where um, it's a game, it's football, and he plays with certain passion. But you always can tell like it means a little something extra to him. So, and again, Jamal, Jamal, New Mexico. When I went on the official visit there. 
his brother had cut my hair on the visit because there's no barber like in the town. Like we were in the garage. His his brother is the barber in the town. Like it's that small. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. So if you want a haircut, you have to go see X and get your haircut. So he'll get <laughs> he'll get you a nice a nice clean fade. So it, it it's one of those things where it's like I always think it's super cool to be a part of that small community, like where everyone is supporting him and 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 available to like try to come to his games. And it's it's always fun when his parents. His mom comes up and his family comes up and we can kind of hang out and spend some time. Did you go on like the official one with like all like Rid and some of the other coaches? Did you go by yourself or we went it, we went together? That was yeah. a big, there's mm -hmm. one time you went yep. down there. Okay. Yeah, because it's hard to get there, so we had to take yeah. one one shot, one crack <laughs> at it to get to get down there. What has he done in terms of on the field too? Just being ready when you guys have needed him and got that first start early on, and then just being able to kind of last year be ready when he was needed, and and, and just for him to. to be in a position now where he's a veteran guy with you know multiple starting experience under his belt. He's a guy played his true freshman year, so he started a game his true freshman year, and I don't. If you ask him, like he didn't play up to his standard of play, and he's a guy that can internalize that and use that for motivation. So, from that one experience, like he bottled that feeling up of not being able to be his best when the team needed him to be his best, and he's like that's his fuel. So like that's kind of his why where. That's why he's able to kind of push himself and prepare it at a really, really high level to, to play um, really well with a ton of confidence because he has that like inner fire, that inner drive. And there's what, no stoplights in the town? Yeah. I don't remember maybe, I don't remember seeing the, a stoplight. The big light. intersection might be one that flashes the other Yeah, thing. like one of those blinking ones, yeah. <laughs> it's, it really is a Oh yeah, that it's kind of like uh, the town on cars, it kind of has that feeling. <laughs> he you said can, no fast food restaurants, nope. no, no yeah. Walmart, nothing like that. Yeah, I remember when I was talking to him on the phone, he'd be like, hey coach, uh, I was like, what did you do, Roger? He's like, oh, we went to uh, Walmart. He's like, do you know what Walmart is, Coach? I was like, yeah, I know what a, I know what a Walmart is, Roger. He's like, yeah, we drove two hours to Walmart and got a you know, got a washer and dryer and drove back and like that was the big thing. So <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah.